Hello! Welcome to Floss 2 24. Yes, awesome. Uh, today is Saturday. It's the 12th of September because yesterday it was the 11th of September. A horrible day in our history and <clears throat> let's just keep it happy today um i want to do this pretty fast because last weekend when i got stuck in that <laughs> editing mode it killed me totally i mean i was so tired and i apologize for uh yeah by accident uh turning off uh the sound at some point in the video but i uploaded the video again with sound through the whole video so um questions i had a question of the week last week uh it's the question of the week which uh it is provided from the heaven and earth uh, facebook group and it was about where you guys start um where like where in the pattern do you start when you start stitching a new project and i can say that more or less everyone said on big pieces like heaven and earth uh they start or you start we start in the top left corner uh but otherwise uh we start in the middle so it was kind of very even there uh but i have to say don't be afraid of starting in the middle on a heaven and earth design. I mean, the, in the middle is where the action is. So if you want to stay motivated, start in the middle. It's not dangerous, I promise. Just make sure you have enough fabric. Um, so that's that. Um, and uh, let's see i have to look at here it was actually just tracy from tracy's craft house hey tracy and ally <laughs> i love your guys uh, floss tube i know this is tracy's floss tube but i know ally's there behind the camera so um uh, tracy wanted to know if the fish line that i use when i grid out my fabric if it's difficult to remove it uh when like when i'm done stitching and yes and no um i usually don't have any trouble you know pulling the fish line it does get a little bit stuck because i'm stitching over it um i usually just grid out out like a page or two so i move the the floss or the um the fish line as i go however I have on a few a few pieces. I would say maybe it's only one, the softest steel. Um, because I started that one in the middle, I gridded out like the middle of the whole piece and where some of the page lines went. And I know that I have that I I've, I've um, well the fish line is stuck at and in some places so i can't pull it out i've tried i've tried to pull hard but uh, i can't get it out so i've just i've just cut it off you know and i mean the fish line is so thin so it's just bedded uh, in the back it's hidden in the back with all the floss so yeah but usually it's no no trouble at all um so yeah i don't know what's best the pen or the fish line i've just always done the fish line and yeah i don't know so try it's no uh, no trouble at all and then ali trace's daughter wondered i guess it's it's the three pieces here behind me if, if those are cross stitches and it is uh the two here that one that one and the one over there 
it's heaven and earth designs this one uh, both of them are randall spanglers let me let me make you a little bit <clears throat> oh this is not going so well i wanted to show you i'll i'll do like this instead <laughs> Don't do this at home, people. Um, because I don't want to. Oh, my God. I don't want to show you all my. Um... Hold on. OK, <laughs> so let's let's do like this instead. So this is um, a dimensions kit. I think it's a gold collection kit and it's something with Max at the docks. Uh, this is like one of the last pieces I did before I started Heaven and Earth Designs. It was a full coverage uh, and there was a lot of, uh, I know that like the fish lines, uh, it's a piece of thread that went over and there's like back stitches on his, um, what do you call it? Yeah, now I can't find the name for it. Uh, and this as well is like a line. It's such a nice piece. I love it. Really love it. And then we have my heaven and earth uh, designs. So this is a mini. It's by Randall Spengler. And I just love his uh, dragons. Um, and I made it for my older sister, but I haven't finished, um, yeah, I haven't framed it. And there is some Krennic in there. You can see the glitter here. And it's stitched on 25 count magic guide. So I wash, washed out the, the gridded lines. So it's a mini. And then we have uh, a quick stitch. Where is it? There. <laughs> And it was one of the, um, it's also Randall Spangler. Uh, and yeah, I'm sorry, this is Sunday Delight. And this is Literate Dragon, a quick stitch of lit Literate, ugh, yeah, whatever. Um, it was one of their uh, stitch alongs they had some years ago. It's pretty small. I think it's like four pages max. So lots of confetti. It's just, I love it. It's so nice. So those are the ones. And then down here, we have some postcards from Rachel Ray. And these are watercolor paintings I've done myself. And this is a picture from my friend at work. We have a thing with llamas. So, and this is like my wall where I collect my medals my finishing medals when running and this is the one i'm the most proud of it's a half marathon it's my first half marathon i ran and uh i think it, i think it might be world the world's biggest mara half marathon in gothenburg sweden and this is a merry christmas card if from uh one of my favorite um hike hiking YouTubers. His name is uh, Second Chance, and he started out last year in January on a, a long uh, hike on the PCT in California, and he went through a whole life change. You know, it was so cool. And this is my. <clears throat> it's called. I'm sorry, you can see. Uh, hmm. Off kit, and. There's some stuff you need uh, if you need to kind of get away from home. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all. Yeah, <clears throat> I guess maybe that was too much information, but that's my wall. This is my wall. I just like to collect stuff. Let's do question of the week already. I was supposed to do it later in the video, but let's just do it now. So it's up here in the corner. Question of the week. Holidays. Do you stitch holiday pieces? 
uh, if you do, which one? Do you stitch Christmas pieces when it's Christmas time? Do you do Halloweens? We're close to Halloween. Or do you do Easter holiday pieces? Whatever. Um, and let me know if you're stitching, which, which holiday pieces have you been stitching on like this year? I would like to know. It would be kind of nice to know. Uh, I love all your guys' comments. I love to read them. I love to read your um, answers to the question of the week. So don't stop. I love all your comments. Um, as for myself, I usually, no, I don't stitch holiday pieces, but I would like to though. Um, when we're getting close to Halloween, I really like the Halloween uh, designs out there. Um, so as I said last time, I'm, I think I will pull out Spooky House again and try to, to get some more stitches into it. Um, Last year I did stitch um, a Christmas piece from uh, Mill Hill and yeah it was kind of nice. I finished it off on the 25th of December so that was kind of nice. Um, so yeah I would like to but I I don't and I don't no I don't do Easter at all no. Um, I usually don't buy any pieces of, like that. Uh, I have been considering getting a Christmas piece, like a heaven and earth Christmas piece. And maybe like, there's one with uh, Thomas Kincaid with a Santa, which I like. But then I couldn't decide if I wanted a super size, if I wanted the max colors or not. So I just haven't gotten around to, to get one. So yeah. Um, so yeah, let me know. What do you guys do? I had the day off yesterday from work. It was so nice. And today it's been raining and raining and raining. And I told my husband, you know, I really feel like going out, uh, walking and running. And I learned that you call that walking, not running, not jogging, not walking, walking. And I love to run in the rain. So I was like, I'm going to go out now and I'm going to do this. I need to get myself together and do it. I go out. It stops raining. The sun comes out. It's hot as hell. And I'm like, thank you. Progress. I worked on Jane Hearth, 1868 by Heaven no, not heaven, hands across the sea samplers. I have stitched on Portrait of Veronica by Mirabilia and I've stitched on Fantastic Voyage, Amy Stewart by Heaven and Earth Designs. So we're going to take a look at them and we start with uh, my hands across the sea sampler. I actually had a few hours more Wednesday evening. My daughter has started her dance. My husband took her to the dance, like her father. And um, so I got a few hours all by myself. No homework, nothing with my daughter. I just had some time with myself and my cross stitching. Now, the thing is, all this stuff here is in the way to show. So I need to make you see sick again i'm sorry yeah so this is my progress and i'm so happy about it i think i made pretty well uh, i finished all the flowers here they're tiny 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 i don't know if you can see them uh, and then i started on the big flower here in the middle And it's stitched on 40 count. Newcastle linen, I think it is. I'm using soy, soy doll share threads. I'm using one strand over two. So. And we can go for like the plan already. I'm planning on stitching one more evening this coming week. 
Uh, so I will continue on the center flower. So, and the second one I stitched, I remembered to bring my calendar. So Jane Hearth, I stitched on Wednesday. So it's going to be all white and it's going to be very difficult to see. And I've stitched two ev evenings on Mirabilia, Thursday and Friday. And since Friday I was off, I had quite a few hours when my husband was at work and Minna was at school. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at this, people. Oh my God, she is, oh my, I just, I love to, to see my progress on screen. Either I take a picture or on YouTube here. Amazing. So this is like the end up here. So I, I made pr a pretty good progress. So this, it's going to go like down here, I think. So my plan is to finish this part this week. I hope I will. And she stitched on <clears throat> 32 count linen. Um, I don't know the color, but it's a very light mint green. It's the called for fabric. I'm using two strands of DMC over two. And then I stitched on Heaven and Earth. A fantastic Voyage by Amy Stewart. And I think I stitched about, let's see, two, four, five, eight, about 1,100 stitches. And I have it in a queue snap like this. And I, I mean, these are really great. They are. It was nice to, um, wind up the part threads on them but they're a little bit in the way when i'm stitching and it looks pretty funny to me but i think they're protecting the the threads pretty well so but i did almost two rows up and down like that so it's pretty nice and I was very disappointed with myself last week because I hardly did like, I did about a, a thousand stitches with 823. Uh, and now I've done like 1011 stitches. It's not that much more, but you know, this is parking with a lot of threads instead of just one color. And I know these two uh, grids here, these two, uh, squares they were kind of confetti heavy but um yeah so that's that it's stitched on 25 count it's a grayish fabric i love this fabric it's nice and soft so that's that that's all the whips i have that's all the progress i have done and for the plans, the heaven and earth plans coming week, we are going to spin the wheel. All right, let's go to the wheel, heaven and earth wheel. I was spinning, no, I was stitching on the fantastic voyage. So three, two, one. Oh my God, secret garden. <laughs> oh no, yeah, okay. Oh, secret garden, oh my God. Um, yeah, it's a super sized Max Colors. Uh, I don't have a um, material pack for it either. I know I had, I was going through hell stitching it. Um, let me go get it. 
So, by the way, my battery is getting low on my microphone, so I might just have to use the, the sound on the camera. Anyway, it took me a while to find it, but here it is. Like, super-sized Max Colors Secret Garden Amy Stewart Confetti. big and this is my progress it's the top left corner surprise <laughs> I have a ton of parked threads oh my god but the design is so beautiful so that's what I'm gonna work on this week I guess yeah so we'll see how that goes um, so that was plans. That was progress. That was question of the week. Question of the week. Hmm? Let's go to hall before the sound stops. And I did forget to prepare myself again with all the names where I've ordered stuff from. So, but this is like, oh, she twinkle or something on Etsy. I've ordered a project bag. Yes. It's a piece of art, I tell you. It is so nicely done. And I got a notion for it as well. So I can put scissors and stuff. I'm gonna bring this on my stitching retreat. Very beautiful. Great service, very nice lady. And I know Nicola Parkman also recommends this lady very much. So that was that. And then from the same store, I will link everything down below. I got one of these um, rolls. Um, and it's for uh, storing your projects. And I was thinking like my samplers, you can store them in three layers. And it's on a stick like this so you just roll it up and they're protected and you can travel with them and I think this will fit very well for my Mirabilis as well so I like that very much a piece of art she wow 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 worth every penny and then I got some um, needle minders Oh, it's upside down on a cat. Very cool. And then we have the Hufflepuff. I really like them. I'm a Hufflepuffer. Yes. And then she, and then this one, this little cutie, and this needle minder, I'm going to add to this um, cross, -stitch, cross stitch pattern, which Lori Kilner from Canada was so kind to um, give to me to have as a giveaway on my channel. So um, I think this one will be a give giveaway next week. And I'm adding this needle minder, I think that fit very well for the harvest, apple harvest design. And the needle minder is from Denkai Designs. Um, very nice, she's in the UK as well. And then I ordered my first lavender and lace uh, from eBay. I couldn't find it anywhere else and it's the, the angel of love. And I've seen her finished and her dress, it's such a small picture, but her dress is like all beads. So, so freaking beautiful. I haven't opened it yet. I'm really looking forward to take a closer look at it and see what materials I need. And I have ordered some Hands Across the Sea. No, Hands Across the Sea samplers from, I found them in, <laughs> In Australia, I think it's called Linen and Thread. Um, and it's the Anne Roberts 1842. And I just love this uh, 
sampler the the frame here is just amazing and the colors are just breathtaking and i can imagine stitching them in the silk threads it's gonna really glow you know and then i couldn't resist i needed lucy nevier uh 1818 it's such an elegant piece and it was it's a limited edition so i felt I needed to get it. And this tree is all French knots. <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> but they are so beautiful. And then lastly, I'm sorry about the crinkle. I have my um, fabric of the month from Crafty Kitten. And unfortunately, I, I won't be able to continue because I'm going back. Uh, as a secretary, I won't have that much money, so I can't order everything. So I think I have this month, like this one. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. A uh, mirabilia on this is going to look amazing, I'm telling you. Um, and next month as well, August, I've paid for... No, I'm lying, July. So I will get one more month. But then, I mean, I have gotten, what, April, May, June, July. So I have eight pieces of 32 count fabric. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I didn't say the name of this. This is Abalone. And this is um, June 2020 limited edition. It's a lot of color. She usually don't dye them this much, but it's a, it's a lot. But I think the Mirabilia with um, she's like sitting like this on. I don't know if there are some pink roses, and she has a white, big white dress with some black detail on it. Yep, 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 yep. And I don't have that kit, and I. Mm. That was all? Yeah, that's all for today. Um, I'm not going to show you the new releases on Heaven and Earth this time. I think there was quite many, especially Wednesday. They have special uh, requests Wednesday when people ask for supersized and minis, minis and whatever. Um, so there was quite a lot of them. Uh, but it's like, it's Saturday evening. I'm going to edit this stuff and I need to stitch. I got all my stuff for my new terrarium, for my new snake. So I need to fix that and get that set up so I can go get the snake. I mean, come on. So uh, let's stop talking. Let's get to stitching. And uh, you guys stay safe out there. Um, wash your hands. Keep the distance. Hang in there. We can beat this thing. Thank you for watching and thank you for all your comments. Don't stop. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already done that. Um, I'm Linda and this is uh, Linda's 144 Hobbies. So thanks for watching. Bye.